Today I wanted to talk about particulate matter and why some people in Butte are concerned about it even though we're meeting all the standards. So what is particulate matter? It's a term for the mixture of solid particles and liquid droplets found in the air. It's also known as particulate pollution. Some particles, such as dust or smoke, are large or dark enough to be seen with the naked eye, while others are microscopic. Sources can be natural, like volcanoes, dust storms, or wildfires. Or they can be anthropogenic, like the emissions from fossil fuel combustion. And there is good reason to be concerned about particulate matter. The effects of inhalation include asthma, lung cancer, respiratory disease, birth defects, premature death. Ambient air pollution was responsible for 4.2 million deaths in 2016, according to the World Health Organization. But researchers have found that the size of the particle plays a large role in how dangerous they are. Our respiratory tracts are designed to remove particulate, and the large particles are filtered in the nose and throat via cilia and mucus. But the smaller particles, less than around 10 microns, can settle in the bronchian lungs. It can be hard to visualize how small these particles are. 10 microns is very small, about one-seventh of the diameter of a human hair. Particles in this size range include mineral dust, pollen, and mold. But an even smaller fraction, those less than 2.5 micron diameter, are even more dangerous. We call this fraction PM2.5, they're less than 1 25th the diameter of a hair, and are comprised of mostly combustion products. PM2.5 easily make their way into the lungs and penetrate the gas exchange regions, or alveolus, causing inflammation. It's here that these tiniest particles cause the most adverse health effects attributed to air pollution. And this is why the U.S. and most countries regulate the small fractions of particulate. Here, the EPA's National Ambient Air Quality Standards limit seven different criteria pollutants, including nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide, ozone, lead, and of course, particulate. The standard considers PM10 and PM2.5 and includes primary and secondary standards. They're measured by concentration, the mass of the particulate per volume of air, in these cases micrograms per cubic meter. And for instance, PM10 is not to exceed a daily average of 150 micrograms per cubic meter more than once per year. Particulate matter regulation has largely been successful. From the year 2000 to 2017, there was a 41% decrease in the national average for PM2.5 concentrations. And this has a significant positive effect on human health outcomes like asthma. Levels have been improving in Silver Bow County too. We were listed as in non-attainment for PM10 for years, but recent improvements have initiated the delisting process. PM2.5 has been dropping as well, in part due to a wood stove changeout program. A study on PM2.5 in the Greeley area found wood smoke was a significant contributor in the winter. So the county has begun removing old wood stoves and installing high efficiency stoves. So why are some folks in Butte so concerned about particulate matter? The health department and EPA tell us we're well within standards, but everyone has experienced the dust that collects when the wind blows right. Some people in the Greeley neighborhood feel that they've been most heavily impacted and have been asking for years for assurances that their health is not at risk. Adding to the concern, a recent study conducted by a researcher at Montana Tech suggested there may be metals exposure linked to the dust, but it really presented more questions than answers. So what's going on? Well, as is often the case, Butte is wholly unique. There are few, if any, examples of a city our size in close proximity to both massive historic and current mining operations and the national air quality standards weren't written with us in mind. They were written for the most vulnerable, the kids with asthma in polluted urban areas. And as I explained, this is a very legitimate concern. Those combustion products are a serious health threat. But it's possible the people in Butte have legitimate concern that has not been nearly as well studied or addressed. We live in a highly mineralized area. It's no coincidence, the town was built on top of some metal-rich ground for a reason. The dust that's kicked up into the air often contains many of these metals and is often in those larger size fractions. When our respiratory tracts act as they're designed and remove this particulate, it's often ingested, it's swallowed. This exposure pathway has not been thoroughly studied 
and neither has chronic exposure to a low-level, broad mixture of metals like we see. So people are trying to find answers. Montana Resources, in partnership with the Butte Silverboro Health Department, recently launched a voluntary air monitoring study. They'll be monitoring and analyzing those larger fractions of particulate matter, both for concentration and for metal content. The Greeley School Air Monitoring Station, now bristling with new instruments, will serve as the study site. MR's operation is already subject to an extensive air quality permit through the Montana Department of Environmental Quality, but they want to be a good neighbor and know if they might be contributing to the problem. Research also continues at Tech, examining exposure to a variety of metals and how particulate matter might have a role. Data like these will go a long way in our understanding of the situation. It's encouraging to see citizens' concerns taken seriously and investigated. Stay tuned as we'll be reporting on the findings as they're released. I'm Dave Hutchins reporting for KBMF.